Hey there YouTube, Brandon here with Shredbox, and in this video I want to talk about how to calculate speaker impedance. And for our purposes, speaker impedance is essentially just glorified resistance. It's a load that your speakers are putting onto your amplifier. And this kind of got sparked by me building my own cab, and I wanted to know what impedance speakers I needed, so I looked into figuring this out, and it's really not all that difficult. There's two ways to put speakers into a cabinet. You can either do it in series, so they're just one after the other, or you can do it in parallel, which means the inputs are the same and the outputs are the same. So drawing that out with resistors would look something like this. In series, you've got one speaker right after the other, and to calculate that, you just add up the impedances. So if this is an 8 ohm speaker, and this is an 8 ohm speaker, 8 plus 8 equals 16, and that's your total impedance. If you only have one speaker, then your impedance is just whatever that speaker is. So if we've just got this one, it's just eight. You cannot have a single speaker in series or parallel. It's just, it's kind of there. All right, so now, I guess mathematically what that is, if any of you are curious, I'll go ahead and write that out. Um, Z is impedance. So Z sub S is what I'm calling Z the impedance in um, series, equals the sum from x equals 1 to n of your impedance with n. And that's just what we talked about, right? It's just z1 plus z2 extended out. So that's series, easy enough. I'm going to erase this, and then we'll talk about parallel. So in parallel, you've got your load coming in, and you've got a speaker, and it's going out, and then you can have these other speakers in here, as many as you want. So your input is the same for all of them. What's nice about wiring in parallel is that if this speaker blows out, you're not going to destroy your amp. You still have a load on the amplifier, but it is going to change your impedance, and uh, if you're not paying attention, you can definitely hurt your amp. It's just not immediately going to blow like it would if they're in series. So anyways, calculating this is the sum of 1 over the value, so if these are all 16, you would have 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16, right, 4 times, and then all of that to the negative 1. So if I'm down, I can keep going, I guess, over here. Uh, if you just add all of these up, what is that? It's 4 over 16, right? And then raising that to the negative 1, you're just flipping those, so it's 16 over 4. And that equals 4, so your total impedance is 4 ohms. You can do that with just two speakers also, right? I mean, same kind of idea. You would just have 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16 is 2 over 16, to the negative 1 is 16 over 2, and that's going to give you 8. So that's series in parallel. There's another way that most 4x12s are wired, and it's called series parallel. Let me draw that out for you, too. So what that's going to be is you've got two speakers in series. You have another two speakers in series. And then those are in parallel. What do we do with this? How do you calculate that? Well, start off, let's say these are all 16s, okay? 16, 16, 16, 16. You wanna find an equivalent impedance. So break this up into two problems, right? You've got series. So this is gonna be, let me do this in a different color. These two are gonna be 32. 
These two are going to be 32, right? Just 16 plus 16. So now, basically what we've got is this, right? Where both of those are 32. So now if we're doing the parallel calculation, I've got 1 over 32 plus 1 over 32 the negative 1, which equals 2 over 32 to the negative 1. So you just flip-flop these, right? 32 over 2 is 16. So then your overall impedance is 16. So if you want to figure out like what you should be plugging into your amplifier, you would have your output at 16 ohms. Now what if you're doing two cabinets together? This was really confusing for me, <laughs> because I was thinking they're in series, right? You just plug one cab straight into the other one. And so let's say you have your total resistance, your total impedance, sorry, for one cab is um, 16. So this is cab one and you plug that straight into your other cab, right? I was thinking this is gonna be 32, but it's not because what's going on internally, these are actually wired in parallel. So your total impedance is gonna be uh, eight, right? One over 16 plus one over 16 to the negative one, which equals 2 over 16 to the negative 1, so 16 over 2 equals 8. Alright, so hopefully this was at least a little bit useful. If you have to go wire your own cab, take pictures and just wire them up the same way, use the same impedance and you're going to be fine. If you want to try and switch things up, just use these two equations and you should be fine as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.